ready for another snack. Okay, so cookies are the one thing people doesn't, don't want to give up when they're going to eat healthy. The other thing people cry about when I say time to eat healthy, chips, right? Okay, so I have an amazing chip solution for y'all, and I hope you like it. Um, remember how I talked about nutrition density? We want to make these chips as nutritionally dense as possible. We also want to keep all the allergens out of it, so we want to keep it dairy-free, gluten-free, and you know, processed food-free. So what we're going to do is use a base of kale, which is one of the most nutritionally dense green leafy vegetables you can eat. We're going to use that as our base for our chip, and then we're going to um, put a really yummy chip coating on it um, to make it irresistible. Now for these, um, for a lot of my raw food recipes, you're going to need a high-speed blender. And what that does is a regular blender will kind of mix things up, but a high-speed blender liquefies anything you put in there. So I really recommend the Vitamix. They sell the Vitamix here or Singigi. Um, I also have a link for it on my website. And the Vitamix will pretty much turn anything into liquid. You can throw whole fruits, whole vegetables. You can make um, things super creamy so it seems like it's cream cheese, but it's not with the high-speed blender. If you don't have a high-speed blender, go ahead and do it in your own blender or in your food processor. It just won't turn out quite as smooth. All right. You're going to love how simple these are. So first of all, we're going to start with a base of cashews. Now these have been soaked overnight, and what that does is it dissolves any enzyme inhibitors on the outside of the nuts, and it also makes them nice and soft so we can blend them into a nice cheesy type substance. Next is red peppers. Raw red peppers that haven't been cooked are higher in vitamin C than citrus fruits. So most people you say, what has vitamin C in it? And the answer is oranges, right? So these have like four or five times the amount of vitamin C as oranges. So you just got to make sure that your red peppers are not cooked. We're also going to put in a little bit of cilantro. Cilantro is a blood cleanser. And um, it's, if you have... Um, we're all exposed to toxins in our air, in our water, in our food, in our environments. And cilantro, if you're eating a lot of cilantro every day, like in your salads and in your chips and your dips and stuff, that can help to cleanse all those toxins out of your blood. It's pretty amazing stuff. Um, you can just leave it out if you don't like cilantro. Or you can put parsley in, but it probably won't taste as good. So I'd just leave it out if you don't like it. Um, you can also make these kale chips any flavor you want. So this is kind of a a cheesy red pepper flavor. If you don't like that flavor, you can make it Italian flavored. So you can put in, drop in some sun-dried tomato and Italian seasoning. You can make it like a dill and sour cream flavor by throwing in some fresh dill and leaving out the red peppers and leaving out the cilantro. So you, these chips are super versatile. You can flavor them up however you like. Um, I'm just showing you one option today. Uh-huh. Yeah. So I've got different variations on this chip in the cookbook. Um, how's it going? I hear a rumble in the audience. Oh, you like them? Okay, good. Chipotle pepper. I like a little bit of kick to my chips, and it gives, um, chipotle is a smoked jalapeno pepper, so I like the smoky, kind of spicy flavor of jalapeno. Again, if you don't like spicy stuff, you can just leave it out. This is coconut oil, again. This is fresh squeezed lemon juice. Now, I've had a lot of people say, can't I use that stuff out of the bottle? It's a lot easier. My answer is, please, as a chef <laughs> and as a human being, please don't use bottled lemon <laughs> juice. OK, it's, it doesn't taste great. All the antioxidants and all the nutrition has been killed when it's bottled. It's in a plastic bottle, and it just doesn't taste very good. Um, freshly squeezed raw lemon juice is very high in nutrients. It's an alkalizing food. It will help to alkalize your body. And um, it, it just tastes better. So use fresh lemon juice. This is black pepper. And this is nutritional yeast. Um, nutritional yeast is very high in B vitamins. And um, it, um, when you're making things, it imparts like a cheesy flavor to stuff. So if you want stuff to taste like cheese, then put nutritional yeast in it. Yes? Um, the question was, there's nutritional yeast, but you should get it without a certain ingredient. I don't, I will have to look that up. I'm not sure. 
It is, and you can get it dried. Um, I got it out of a can, but you can get it dried, you can get it powdered, you can get it out of a can. And generally, I don't use canned foods, but um, you got to work with what you've got. <laughs> okay, so um, blend. Voila. Did you see how it chewed up those peppers and cilantro and cashews? There's no liquid in there. And um, that's the beauty of the Vitamix. Uh, if you did that in a regular blender, you'd probably have to just add a little bit of water to make it blend. And the other beauty of the Vitamix is the tamper to shove it down into the blades with. Um, it's really hard to do some of these really thick recipes without that. If, if you can only buy one appliance for your health, I would recommend the high-speed blender. I use that every day, several times a day, and um, seriously, it, it's, it's expensive. It's about three to $400 for the high-speed blender, but um, I use it every day, and I really couldn't eat the healthy diet I eat without it. So if you can only buy one appliance, I would totally recommend the, um, the high-speed blender being your first purchase. And you won't be sorry, I guarantee. I do. Um, I prefer Vitamix, hands down. Um, I have both, and I've tried both. And um, I just always keep going back to my Vitamix because it performs way better. Huh? It performs way better. So, um, yeah, if you want to know all the reasons why, I can, I can tell you my long list, but um, I just, yeah, the, the Vitamix, it's more powerful, it's got more features, and it performs better. All right, let's see. So all we did was make that cheese sauce, and again, you can do any flavor variation you like, and um, you can mix this with this. I love doing this with my daughter. She loves getting her hands into the food and, and, and bonding with the food, so this is a great activity for food bonding. You just get in there, and what you're going to do is massage the kale until the cheese sauce is just massaged onto every surface of the kale. Kids love this. Um, lots of adults love this, too, so don't feel bad if you love bonding with your food by massaging it. That's okay. And I think, I think you guys will really love, like, the one thing I love about raw food is you have to think in advance. Like, this isn't something you can just say, oh, I want kale chips, and then, you know, you can have them five minutes later. So if you, if you, but if you prepare in advance, really it doesn't take that long. It took five minutes to make the cheese sauce. Um, takes five minutes to massage the kale and spread it on the sheets. And then it's just a matter of waiting. Like you have to dehydrate it, and it takes about 24 hours to dehydrate. Um, if you don't have a dehydrator, again, you can do this in the oven. Get a parchment, get parchment paper, put it on a baking sheet. Spread these out in a single layer, and then just put your oven down to the lowest temperature possible and get them nice and crispy that way. Um, but uh, what we do at our house, because because for us, like when we're hungry for a snack, we need a snack right now, right? You can't wait. You're starving right now. So we make kale chips and crackers and cookies and little ice cream balls and cheesecake, and we put it in our fridge in our freezer. And then when we're getting peckish for something delicious, we're not tempted to go get a candy bar or go get you know some other junk food. We've got our fridge and our freezer stocked with snacks. It doesn't take that long. And, and it, it really pays off because then, you know, if you have a little bag of something in your desk at work, a little something in the car, some granola bars in the car, um, it, just, it makes it a lot easier to make healthy choices instead of being starving and going, okay, what can I get? And the only thing to get is junk food. So I really recommend making like four or five different snacks, keeping them in your fridge or freezer or your desk at work or wherever you are all the time, and then having an instant snack available. So all you do is mix it up like this. Put it either in the dehydrator or on an oven in your or on a tray in your oven, and you just lay them out in a single layer like this and dehydrate them until they're dry and crispy. Usually, it takes 24-ish hours depending on the temperature, and um, that's it. <laughs>